back to 27 Fox Place. I get a lot of questions about what I eat, so I thought I would include a meal prep in today's video. And I start every morning with a quick reset so that I have a tidy space to spend time in, or I can leave the house knowing that when I come home, the house is in order. And I couldn't leave the house without making the bed any more than I could leave the house without getting dressed. And I don't typically spend a whole lot of time in the bedroom during the day, but it's nice to have a tidy space that, that I can retreat to when I do. I have an easy day of laundry this morning and it's mostly towels so it won't take long to get everything folded and put away. I also need to wash the blanket that I used to cover the couch. I replace the cover with a fresh one every week and I'll wash it and hang it up to dry. You may have heard me mention this before, but it's important to clean the lint trap after every use. Not only does it save time and cut down on the energy bills, but if the lint has a chance to build up inside the ducts, it can become a fire hazard. Been walking down the street so many times, my feet know every brick and stone could wear a blindfold. No matter what I do, I'm coming home to you. And I don't know why. time of year we tend to get a lot of Santa Ana winds which fuel the wildfires and creates a mess in my yard. <laughs> it's been very windy here the past few days so I wanted to take advantage of the calmer weather and clean off the patio before more dirt gets tracked into the house. the magic places in the world I've been to this is where my heart is oh you know it's true no matter where I go I'm coming home to you Forever, so I can hold you. 
sound maples Get the monsters under your bed Deep and abiding Liking for you is all I need Until my heart gives in The dishwasher wasn't full enough to run the night before, so I added a few more bulky items from around the kitchen. That way I could empty the dishwasher before I started working in the kitchen. pre-cooked meals and I also don't want to spend a lot of time in the kitchen after work so I like to prepare ingredients that I can use to make meals throughout the week and I usually spend about an hour or so on meal prep and I don't get everything done all in one go but having the majority of the work done in advance makes it fast and easy to throw together a healthy meal. Ground turkey is something that I like to cook up in advance before I freeze it and I like to use it for things like the chili that I'm making today or if I need a quick meal during the week all I have to do is pull a package out of the freezer and add some taco seasoning for tacos. I don't like to clean my produce with anything that I would be afraid to eat without first rinsing <laughs> and I read a study about common household products that were used to remove the chemical residue from produce and the study found that baking soda was one of the most effective products. So I add a few tablespoons of baking soda to a sink full of water and I'll leave the produce to soak while I work on other things. Red chili is one of my favorite fall recipes and I just mixed all the ingredients together in a crock pot and I'll let it cook on high for four hours or eight hours on low and when I serve the chili I like to mix in a tablespoon of nutritional yeast and I'll top it with some diced onion avocado and some vegan sour cream.
I used half of the ground turkey for the chili and I'll put the other half in a one quart freezer bag. And any time that I store foods in the freezer, I like to flatten out the contents as much as possible. It saves space and it stacks well in the freezer, but it also helps to defrost the food faster. I have one more package of ground turkey to cook and I won't be using any of it today. And once it cools down, I'll divide it into two portions and I'll put it in the freezer. And while the meat is cooking, I need to cook up some mushrooms for a stir fry this week. And I know that you're not supposed to wash the mushrooms, but I just feel better doing it. <laughs> to preheat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and I'm making salmon for my husband's lunch this week and keeping pesto in the freezer is another big time saver I make a double batch of pesto and I freeze it in tablespoon size proportions and I can just pop it on the salmon for an easy and flavorful lunch I'm making a batch of quinoa to go with the salmon and because rice is one of those things that takes a long time to cook, I'm going to cook up a batch to go with the stir fry this week. I use a one to two ratio of grains to liquid and quinoa is technically a pseudo grain, but it uses the same ratio and I like to use broth because it adds more flavor. And while I'm waiting for everything to finish cooking, I can get started on the soup du jour. I'm making a batch of asparagus soup, which is another one of my fall favorites. I just snap off the ends of the asparagus and the stalk will break where it's most tender and I can discard the woody part of the stem. notice Ace sneaking into the kitchen in this video and I've been chasing him out of the kitchen all day but the wind has picked up again and he thinks that hiding behind me is the safest place to be. <music> Avocado oil has a higher smoke point and it has a very mild flavor so I like to use it for savory dishes like this one and I'm using just enough oil to coat the bottom of the pan. I only use oils that are cold pressed like avocado oil, coconut oil, and olive oil. But olive oil has a low smoke point, so I only use it to make dressings. There's a new day that will come again tomorrow. There's a new day to wash away the pain. Try to get some sleep if 
Once the potatoes are fork tender, I can add the asparagus, and I'll let the asparagus cook until it's tender but still bright green. And then I'll take it off the heat and let it cool down. There's a new day to get you through your struggle. I'm chopping up the strawberries so that they're ready to eat. Then we eat a lot of strawberries, but if I don't get them washed, they'll just sit in the fridge. And I think they stay fresher when they're whole, so I'm just chopping up half the strawberries today. And once these are gone, then I'll wash the other container. And anytime we have too much fruit to eat, I'll chop it up and store it in the freezer, so that way it doesn't go to waste. And frozen fruit is a great substitute for ice in smoothies. I'm slicing up half of an onion to go with fajitas later this week, and I already have the peppers sliced up in the fridge, so when I'm ready to cook dinner, the only thing I have left to do is chop up the chicken and add some seasoning. Now that the quinoa and the salmon have had a chance to cool down, I'm going to divide them into four separate containers. And I use a frozen veggie mix for the lunch prep. And I try to undercook the salmon just a little so that when my husband heats up his lunch in the microwave, the salmon doesn't overcook. Life is a winding road, no telling where it goes. Driving through days and nights, won't stop for traffic lights. give the pots and pans time to cool down before I wash them and I try to wash up the pots and pans before the food has a chance to really stick. If not then I'll soak them to make them easier to clean. And I have this new scrub brush for the kitchen that I really like. The wooden handle has a very comfortable grip and the shorter length makes it easier to use and it keeps my hands out of the water. And I've run it through the dishwasher a few times and the handle seems to be holding up so far. from cliffs so high trust in our wings to fly sometimes we're crashing down but we get up and start from the ground Searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Now that the soup has had a chance to cool down, I need to blend it into a smooth and creamy consistency. And I use a blender for this soup, but an immersion blender would work just as well. It's very important to let the soup cool down before adding it to the blender, because if it's too hot, the contents will expand and blow the top off the blender. <laughs> 
The last ingredient that I add to this soup is a few cloves of roasted garlic, and roast garlic is one of those things that I like to keep in the freezer. It takes about 45 minutes to roast in the oven, so I like to roast several heads of garlic all at the same time. That way, I always have some on hand. I'm buzzing, let's drink up, you deaf look like big fun Come on, let's get it on, like that one fin gay song I'm stunning, you love it, come on, give me something I know that you want it, come on, give me something The night is young and so are we So maybe you should leave with me The night is young and so are we The only thing left to do is to load up the dishwasher and clean off the countertops. And I use a granite cleaner, which I will include in the description box along with today's recipes. But if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. you 
forgot to freeze the bananas. <laughs> I like bananas when they've just turned from green to yellow and once they start to get brown spots on them, I put them in the freezer so that I can use them for smoothies later. That's all for today and if you like this video be sure and give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe if you haven't done so already. Once you've subscribed be sure and turn on notifications so you don't miss the next video. And thank you so much for watching today and I hope to see you next week. Give me all your love, give me all your love